Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to detail the story of Playboy Gangster Crip rapper Big Sad 1900. Big Sad will grow up in West LA and be raised in a Playboy Gangster Crips turf. The Playboy Gangster Crips, also known as PBG, are a West LA gang that's a part of the gangster car. The Playboys have been active well over 30 years, and with being active, they became rivals to several other West LA Crip gangs or Crips in nearby areas, like the Schoolyard Crips, the Venice Shoreline Crips, and hoods like the Mansfield Gangster Crips. Even though both Playboys and the Mansfields are Gangster Crips, they later became rivals. Growing up, it was easy for Big Sad to become familiar and adjusted to the gang lifestyle. His dad and two older brothers were from Playboy Gangster Crip as well. Like both, both of my big brothers is currently doing time, like on serious charges. You really? know what I'm saying? So like, first thing I, I, I'm seeing that hand first. I got big brothers and then my dad too. My dad part of my gang. You know what I'm okay. saying? So it's like it was like a family thing. You know what I'm saying? But I always had my own mind to do something different. Mm -hmm. But it was like you know, it's like being a, being in the environment and you you gonna have to adapt to that environment and everything going on. But most of Big Sad's life, he would live with his grandparents. With both of his parents being heavily involved in the streets, they would spend a lot of time in and out of jail. Most of his interactions with his parents were through phone calls and sometimes prison visits. Big Sad had strict grandparents, with his grandpa being in the army and ruling with an iron fist, but his grandpa couldn't protect him from what was going on outside. With all the gang politics going on in the streets, Big Sad would be pressed and questioned about his gang affiliation a lot of times, even when he wasn't banging. This would eventually lead to him joining his hood. By 12 years old, Big Sad would start committing crimes. He was getting kicked out of schools, selling drugs, and doing robberies. This led to him getting locked up at 12 years old. He would have a long list of run-ins with the police the rest of his teenage years, being arrested again around the age of 13 and spending 13 months in jail. He would be seeing all the bad parts of the streets and what it could bring. Around this time, he would lose two close friends who would be shot and killed. Upon his release, Big Sad would be on probation and would stay in and out of jail, even having his PO at times come up to his high school and take him right back to jail. Big Sad life would consist of game banging and doing anything to get money. Every time things would start going good for him in the streets, he would either be locked back up or another friend of his would die. Big Sad never thought of being a rapper, but his homie West LA Stevo would convince him he should give it a try. Big Sad thought at first he would do it for females and to get some attention especially with not many West LA rappers being out. Big Sad's first song he would drop would be a video he would put on his YouTube channel and it would be a song called No Hooks, featuring West LA Steve-O. The song would make an immediate buzz and have positive feedback. He knew this could be a way for him to go legit and take care of his family. You feel me? What was the one song? Uh, no Hooks, shoot the video, me and my boy. We was gonna shoot it, drop it. I didn't really think too much of it. You know what I'm saying? What was the motivation for doing that one song? Do you was, have something to you, say? Man, I was trying to, I was trying to get up on some hoes. You know what I'm saying? Some, excuse my language, but I was trying to knock some. You feel me? Go crazy, yeah. Yeah, like I'm in the streets. I'm trying mm. to, you know, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking like people are gonna be like, what's up with a mixtape? Mm. I'm like mixtape. Well, I ain't even think that far out like about no mixtape. You know what I'm saying? But you were really thinking like, damn, if I if I have one hot song on YouTube. That could help me out. These girls are gonna be fucking with me. Yeah, I'm like, man, I'm about to. I'm like, I need this. Need to be said. I'm, I'm gonna say this. Like, what I, what I, what I was saying in that song, no mm -hmm. hooks. I'm like, this need to be said. So I'm gonna say this, dude. I'm not thinking about nothing else. Yeah. And after that, they talk about. I got one song. They like more music. I'm like, what? More music. So now I'm thinking like, damn, mixtape. Some of Big Sad's influences in rap would be people like Nipsey Hussle, Snoop Dogg, Tupac, and Mozzie, among several others. Big Sad would start taking rap serious and became locked in the studio and gained a consistent work ethic. Big Sad would next drop songs like Strap Up, Suckers Mad, La Cienega Heights, and 500 In My Cup, which all did numbers. By 2020, he would drop an album called Don't Forget, followed by another album called Never Forget. His third album would be General 1900, and he would make his own record label called 1900 Records. His last album of 2020 would be with producer Oos Lee, called 1900 So Way Out. It has songs like Meet Me At The Ritz on it. In April 2021, the album Until Then would drop, with songs like Mud and Pain on the album, followed by albums like Gang Ties and City on Fire. Big Sad's next album would drop in March of 2022, and he would drop an album with rapper Little Blood called Dirty Diapers and Syringes. In April, he would drop another album with producer Stills called Stills 1900. In June, he would drop another album called I Don't Tap In or Tap Out, which has singles like Game Members and Therapy 2. His last album of 2022, be Welcome to Los Angeles, The Truth, 
and it released December 16th of 2022. It has singles like Misunderstood, and it's all there. Even with all the music that Big Sab was dropping, he was still in the streets and beefing on the internet hard with his rivals. One being a Venice Shoreline Crip named Two Extras. Two Extras will often diss Big Sad and pull up to the Playboy's hood and take videos and pictures. But all this will later catch up to Two Extras and he will later be killed. Big Sad will quickly run to IG to diss Two Extras and even make fun of him. It will later be videos posted of Two Extras candles being kicked. Two Extras, man. We about to smoke one for a little dirty cuz. <laughs> we about to smoke one for a little dirty cuz. We're gonna, we're gonna put, put something in the air for a little dirty cuz. Incidents like this would be brought up with the most known rapper from West LA at the time being Blueface. Blueface was cool with two extras, so it would be a narrative that Blue's face from Schoolyard and Big Sad had beef about their affiliations and who they was cool with. But Big Sad would later deny any beef. Internet. Yeah, you beefing with Blueface, but you don't really never say nothing. He don't never respond. You ain't heard Blueface say nothing about me. So you yeah. ain't heard me say nothing about Blueface. The internet will make it like that because maybe back back in the past, our hoods may have had like a disagreement. You know, you have a stepbrother sometimes. You just you know y'all might not get along. Type of situation like it's not even that serious, but the internet will take it and will spin it and it be gone. Never had no where we never stood in the room together. Nothing. Like he ain't never this the set. Blueface ain't never did nothing to the homies. We ain't like it, it just I feel like I'm a big rapper from my hood. He a big rapper from his hood. You feel me? They would do that with it. They just like they would do that. They'll try to do that with probably like, you know how I ain't never really seen nothing about like Nipsey and Schoolboy Q, but I'm pretty sure if they could try to spin a narrative on that, they would try to eat problem like with each other personally. Ain't nothing yeah. going on. Like, it's just the internet to make it look real bad, bro. And it's not like that. By the beginning of 2023, Big Sad and Yellow Hill from Marvin Gangsta Crip, a hood that the Playboys are cool with, will have a back and forth. And Big Sad will start blasting Yellow Hill after he said comments on No Jumper that he got a DP for getting a Nipsey Hustle tattoo. I'm, I'm from Wooty Whooper. He banged neighbor and I banged gangster. That man affected me so much. So, I wasn't thinking, bro. I wasn't thinking, I took it upon myself to be like, man, we gotta hit the tattoo shop. Got blasted, bing, boom, bing, bam. Loved it. Went to the hood. Oh, you whoop -woo -woo, what you, oh, okay, yeah, no, that's cool, that's nice, bro. Woo -woo -woo. Boom, bing, bow, boom, <laughs> bing, bow, boom, bow, bing, boom. I'm seeing stars. This interview would make Big Sass start exposing Yellow Hill, saying he wasn't a real Crip, and that he joined the Crips at 28. Big Sass was also mad over the DP comments about the Nizzy Hustle tattoo. With Nipsey being one of Big Sad's favorite artists, he would state that Yellow Hill wouldn't have got a DP over a tattoo. Big Sad would make numerous posts about Yellow Hill from what high school he went to, his old rapper name, and also questioning his gang affiliation. Uh, bro, uh, like, bro, think about it. How you like think about it? The gangs you go, the gangs you say, like, you know, he got Pico tatted. How you got Pico tatted? But you're state. not from the gang on Pico. On you from the app. Like, That's come how on, you give me. Because the Pico homies didn't accept cuz. Be wise, your man feels didn't accept cuz. That's he got Pico tatted in the way on the app. But how that even happen? Yeah? Oh, how that happen. It's like Many people will wonder why Big Sad was trying to expose Yellow Hill if they were cool, and he even appeared in his first video, which Big Sad would say he was paid to appear. Big Sad would then drop a diss song called Join the 28, and then Yellow Hill would drop his own diss. Both of their diss records would be taken off YouTube, and this beef would later be squashed. Continuing with his music, Big Sad would drop four albums in 2023. He would drop Die Legend in February, which had a song called Pull Up On Steve-O, which was dedicated to his recent fallen homie, was the late Steve-O. In April, he dropped an album called 60 Days in Seattle, and another album in April called 1985 with Killer Fonte. And in September, he dropped The Reason, which has singles like Go Live and I Be With Crips. In 2023, Big Sad would be in and out of jail and catching a few cases. And by the end of 2023, Wack 100 would start going around, talking bad about Big Sad. And this led to a long month spat, where Wack 100 called him a snitch. So when they called me, I'm like, well, who's Big Sad? They tell me who he is. I said, okay, well, what'd he do? They tell me what he did. <clears throat> ah, so, right, you got to work, right? So he told on this dude, K-Swiss, from Mansfield Crip. He identified the car. Later on, the identifying the identity of the car led back to a rental car place, which was rented by K-Swiss, put him in the car. Black 100 would still go around, calling Big Sad a rat, 
and later an interrogation video of Big Sal will come out and also paperwork. This hard, it was probably, I left my house by 9, I, I want to say 9, it's around they a little bit, a little bit. No, they picked me up about around 8.30, 8.45, okay. I want to say this happened about 9.15. So what, what time did you guys get there, about? Man, I don't think, I think, I don't think it was about 9, like 9.30. I woke up at 8 on the dock, my brother called, my grandfather handed me the phone. Talk for a little bit, and he said they're going to the yard, so they can call me later. Okay. Got in the shower. Talk to my girlfriend I asked me for a minute in Sacramento. This had to be alright because she gets up every morning at nine because she goes to work at ten. So this we I talked to her before I left the house. So this had to be I wanna say nine thirty. So you guys got to the I location. Say we were there at nine thirty. I wanna say nine thirty nine year, you know, nine thirty, nine forty five. How long were you guys parked? We was parked for five three to five minutes. Okay. And uh, Kevin was driving? Yeah. Kevin hopped out, walked in the gate. I was sitting in the car for a minute. This happened like they, I, I, I want to say I, I want to say it was following us. It seemed like they was following. When, when Kevin parked, um, he parked. Do you know direction? Front. All right. They shot every everything from this side. From so, the driver's side. Yeah. They okay. all the bullets. Do you know how many there. people were shooting? Uh, no, I didn't even see. I just I just glanced kind of. I gave the, I told the detective like it was kind of like an SUV. Not a truck, not a car. Did the car stop and park and somebody walked out? Just put, no, it just put up right on the side. I just see a car right on the side of us. I want glass and just shooting. And I opened the back door. I, just started running. I ran this way and ran on the porch. Because the lady, uh, the lady, I want to give you an address, but I don't have her address. But I'll show you the house because she seen me. I was on her porch. But she said, don't move. Stay here. Don't move. Don't move. I'm calling 911. Lean down or whatever. Okay. So. The car was facing. This is Sawyer. Uh -huh. This is Corning. Uh -huh. The car was facing. That way. Right. Make a, we made a left on corner. Okay. Man, we parked. Okay. Instantly, soon, like, probably the pipe two, three minutes after. They just pulled up. <sighs> I'm like, I'm just running. How many shots did you hear? I heard about six or seven. You know, I'm not really, like, I'm running for my life, so I can't really tell you the exact number I heard, but it's about that. Like, you think just, they were blah, 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 blah. Okay. You know, like six or seven. Um, when, so, can't, at this time, Kevin's not in the car no, no more? No, he's okay. probably like halfway inside the building already. Okay, so let me let me get this. So you guys, they pick you up, you get to... Now, who Corners. whose house were you going to? Uh, we were just going, we we from Playboy, so we just kick it everywhere. We got... Okay, like, so were you going to meet we somebody went, there, or...? The homies, we, everybody just meet up on... Every, we... Big Sad will instantly go on live to discuss the situation. I dropped a dead pregnant lady off at the hospital. They locked me in the hospital. Until the police got there. First of all, for people thinking, people thinking I got booked, went to jail. No, 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 no. It ain't. That's what I'm saying. Speak on what you know. Think about this. I've been seeing y'all every day. Don't lie now. I'll post the video. I was just with y'all. We just shot a video a month ago. I know y'all numbers not doing as good as mine's. Y'all gonna get there, bro. Don't trip. All right, look. Who name I said? They said I said Kevin. Kevin is my homie. That's who wife was in the car shot. They talking about, he said Kevin. Stupid. That's my homie, stupid. The black and white clearly say, this man said the Playboy gangsters shot him. Y'all telling me I told, cause I, uh, a vehicle description? He would even go out to platforms like No Jumper to plead his case and his innocence of not being a snitch. If I wanted to tell on a nigga, I could have just been like, oh yeah, that's Wooty Whoop. I went to school with him. I was just in camp with him. That was my celly in camp. Like, come on, bro. If I went, I knew the car. If I wanted to say all, I could have said all that. Big Sass still denies snitching, and many people have opinions. Some saying he snitched, and some saying he didn't. But what's your opinion? Did he snitch or not? Let me know in the comments. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, Comment and subscribe.